lanes, that has narrow sidewalks, uh, a lot of pedestrian activity. Um, it's an, it uh, has an unsignalized mid-block crossing, which basically means that um, folks cross um, 6th Street, um, uh, like around Michigan and Natoma, um, crossing across the alleys um, without a signal, um, which creates conflicts with uh, vehicles. There's a lot of congestion during rush hour. Uh, and high speeds at non-peak times, and especially with the connection to 280, um, you get a lot of those high speed times. Um, so uh, the environmental review for this project um, has just, uh, just completed. Um, so uh, that will all allow for um, a project that will improve pedestrian safety. Uh, we're going to uh, scale down to two traffic lanes um, in the high injury section from uh, Market to Folsom going to calm and, uh, and slow uh, traffic so that uh, pedestrians are less at risk. Um, it's going to create wider sidewalks and defined spaces for bikes um, to make it more pleasant to walk along the streets. Um, it, we're going to signalize uh, crossings um, uh, at the alleys so that um, people that are currently crossing at the alleys um, you know, without a light, uh, which is dangerous, um, are going to be protected. Um, it's going to make it more of a neighborhood street rather than a freeway on-ramp, um, and it's going to create a connection to the Better Market Street project, um, which hopefully will help uh, you know, make improvements uh, for safety around Market Street, and we're, it's going to include better um, you know, landscaping, uh, street lighting, uh, which will help protect, protect pedestrians, and one of the things we've heard a lot is that uh, improved street lighting is a priority for the community. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, um, it sounds good because I remember Jenny and Kim's office, they put big rocks out there on the corner and they, they hit in the bathrooms. They, but, they um, put what on the park? Big, big old rocks that you find on a jetty somewhere and they called something to make the, the, the Sixth Street look better and, and it was a buffer <laughs> uh, so the cars would hit people, I guess, but they ended up being a big piss pot. So, um, Will you have time to talk about Taylor too? Did you talk about Taylor? About which one? Taylor's. Is a Taylor. Uh, I, I did. Uh, oh, Taylor okay. Street. There's going to be a, a outreach program in the summer. Oh. Um, it, what, what, when, where? Okay. Um, it has not been decided yet, but um, that's going to examine the issues of Ellis as well. Oh, okay. thank you. So, so just just to let you know a little bit of history on this the Sixth Street project. Um, there was a, a towway lane removal pilot in 2012. Uh, we had a community. We had uh, in 2013. Uh, we had uh, three community meetings, um, including a community walk and demonstration with uh, Supervisor Kim's office, um, where we walked around uh, with with the supervisor. We also did a community walk with our director and Supervisor Kim in November of 2013. Uh, we had five monthly meetings uh, with the consortium uh, from January uh, 2014 through September 2015. Uh, we painted uh, a safety zone and uh, refreshed the expansion in 2014 and installed a new traffic signal at Minna, uh, where the mayor came out and installed a traffic signal. Uh, we also added new continental crosswalks uh, at Market Street in 2015. Um, and so we've been working you know, on the street for a long time. The environmental review uh, process um, is now kind of uh, over. So we're, um, uh, we did a uh, traffic impact study and a final nebula declaration, which is in the environmental review. Um, so now in May, we're uh, getting outreach to Sixth Street businesses, residents, and the community. Can I get a copy of the uh, environmental document for Sixth Street? Uh, yes. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I'll get that to you. Um, so then uh, we've got so basically, um, you know, uh, you know. So this is in first draft. You know, so the it's. So the negative uh, declaration environment is in first draft. Um, so we're going to do outreach um, for the next several months um, and then finalize and publish uh, the environmental document during the summer. Um, we're going to be planning uh, public open houses to provide uh, input on the streetscape in August. So 
So you'll get to um, you know help pick, for example, furniture, uh, street furniture, lighting decisions, streetscape decisions, those kinds of things. Um, and then hopefully this fall, um, there will be an uh, environmental uh, and SFMTA board approvals, and then uh, construction will begin hopefully in winter 2019. So uh, we're excited about all these projects. Uh, if you need, so one more easy question: Is, uh, Have they all been approved? Um, I do not. Have Have they all been funded? Um, well, one do you know which funded? which ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Geary, I mean, Geary, we're not 100% funded on, I don't think, um, you know, uh, we have, uh, I, I I can get back to you on the funding, I, I don't know. It seems yeah. like there's going to be more. More what? We're going to see you following up on some Yes. Um, also, the other thing is. So uh, maybe you might need some help getting that funded, too. Well, yeah. Well, uh, with the, you know who we want you to. And so um, we also have our annual report, which I passed around. It's pretty. I worked really hard on it. Um, I actually did oh, this one. Author. But uh, yeah. Um, so uh, you know, if you're interested in taking one, um, you can also find it online and any of this information online. Uh, once again, you can always um, you know send me an email or have uh, Mr. Nolte send me an email, um, and we will you know continue to be in touch with you guys as these projects move forward. If you want to, you can leave those in the front window of our body for the tenants to pick up. Okay. Uh, I will reach out to them now. Um, I unfortunately have another commitment uh, now. So, uh, is there any other last minute questions? Yes, what is that? Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, that's not a question. <laughs> but I, I'm, happy, I'm, I'm happy to take that one. Oh, one more thing, sorry. Uh, on the agenda is Turk Street. Uh, we are doing a Turk Street walk with the fire department and Supervisor Kim's office um, that will look at the bike lane design of Turk Street and then decisions will be made after that. So, if anybody would like stickers, we've got stickers. The van has to prove how I can leave stickers here. A sticker. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your evening, folks. You too. Yeah. I like the shoes. Thank you.
change of use and construct a bakery at 1138 Sutter Street. That building permit was approved and is now moving through the planning process to put a bakery there to service the Sutter Street uh, Polk Market neighborhood. I'm really happy about that win. And I had a very nice thank you for planning for supporting it. Also, with the help of Dennis just recently, I sent two emails of planning. One for 2558 Bishop Street, which is the Alta Vista School, to expand the school from 5,997 square feet to 13,699 square feet um, and for educational expansion uses, which is a very important to support. And I also sent an email of support for 998 Valencia, um, to see a resurgence of the entertainment, restaurant, and um, bar experiences on, on, on Valencia. Uh, they had restaurants and entertainment. They swung way to the other side of the pendulum of just having bars and got really violent up there. And now they're swinging back to where they have entertainment venues along with um, rest, full service restaurant venues on Valencia. So it's a good thing. Trendy. Yeah, trendy. Also, I have a notice from the uh, Historic Preservation Committee for a hearing on Wednesday, May 17th, uh, for landmark status for 546 to 548 Fillmore, 554 Fillmore, 735 Bell, and 660 Oak Street, which are uh, historic, historically designed parts of the Sacred Heart Church complex uh, for Article 10 landmark pursuant to section 10.4.1 10, of the planning code. Also, um, you can, I have a note, and I have filled this out and sent it in, but I have a phone number or an address you can contact and an email ad, or a you know, excuse me, website to go to do a, a planning department survey. And it's www.surveymonkey.com forward slash small r forward slash San Francisco Planning Outreach. I can leave this up here so people can copy the, the, the website. Mm -hmm. Notice of public hearings. Coming up on May 11th, which is this Thursday, is a hearing for discretionary review for 1298 Valencia, which is a building permit application to demolish a one-story gas station and build a, a six-story, 55-foot tall, 35-unit, um, well, 35-unit mixed-use building um, from second to sixth floor with uh, community art space on the ground floor. Also, um, this was the uh, on May 18th, uh, which is a week from Thursday, we have one of 349 8th Street, which is between Folsom and Heron, in Western Sloma, it's a large-scale project authorization. It, re it will uh, merge three lots currently used as parking lots and construct a five-story, 40,000 square foot mixed-use building with 38 residential units and ground floor commercial. Then also on the 18th for 999 Folsom is another large-scale project which is an eight-story building, which, which will put in 84 dwelling units, uh, 5,868 square feet of ground floor commercial, and 36 parking spaces. Uh, what's this the is cost a joint street? commission meeting with the Planning Commission and the Rec and Park Commission because it's not too far away from a park. Is that what's the cross street on that? Uh, Sixth Street. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a recreation center, a park, and two other things down there. Um, also on the 18th, just down the street from this one, is 980 Folsom Street, another large-scale project, which will construct another eight-story building um, with 33 dwelling units, 951 square feet of ground floor commercial, 14 parking spaces. They're asking for uh, variances on rear yard, dwelling unit exposure, ground floor active use, and off street parking. Also on the 18th at 17, 
26 to 1730 Mission Street. There's another request for a large scale project to build a, well, one, to demolish a two-story industrial building and build a six-story mixed-use building with 40 dwelling units. And also on the 18th, at 824 Hyde Street, across from my doctor's office, they're proposing to build a tourist hotel of six stories um, with 30 tourist, tourist guest rooms. And on the 18th, at 719 Larkin Street, there's conditional use authorization um, to construct a 40-foot tall building with a 50-foot long frontage. This is one of those things Sue Hester and I have agreement on. Sheer walls have got to go. Um, and this is, uh, uh, will be on Yellow Street in our RC4 district. They're not supposed to build 50 foot long buildings on, in our RC4 district. It'll contain 42 dwelling units with 2,000 square feet of commercial space on the ground floor. That's meetings. Wow. Letters of determination. This is letters people have sent to the uh, zoning administrator to get the determination on a project. One for 2425 California Street. Um, the plan of permit reviews and uh, found this project. This property is in compliance with the planning code requirement for a thousand feet away from the school or other uh, recreational use for a medical cannabis dispensary. Uh, another letter of determination for 1149-1153 Valencia, where the Valencia Neighborhood Commercial Transit District Admission Alcohol Beverage Special Use District, Fringe Financial Service Restricted Use District, and a license issued by Alcohol Beverage Control for a uh, entertainment venue with a restaurant and bar. And another letter of termination, 7070 Van Ness, item number 104, is for a non-retail sales and service of online lending company, which was approved. And another one, which the medical camp dispensary, which was denied, would be within 1,000 feet of Alta Vista School, Mission Pool Playground, at 3278 21st Street. No, notice the projects receiving environmental review. 1523 Grace Street and 17 Grace Street, which is bounded by Washburn, Mission, and Howard Street, uh, is for a project of 11 residential units on Building A and 11 residential units on Building B on a lot that's got three parcels which will be merged. Another project receiving environmental review, 244 9th Street, is a, if they're planning, it's curved, well, building is currently occupied by a 30 foot tall, two story industrial building constructed in 1924. And the project proposed is a, is a three story vertical addition. For a change, they're not going to tear something down. They're going to put things on top of it, which I think is a really nice idea. So I've called for documents on that one. The ne next one is 600 Van Ness Avenue, uh, which is located on Golden Gate to the south, Van Ness to the west, Colt to east, and Turf to the north. It's 181,756 square foot, 128 foot tall, eight inch uh, building with penthouse, it's a 12 story over basement building, being built where the old McDonald's used to sit and would shadow Central One School Playground. Call the documents on that. Yeah. Um, that's been heard uh, from the attorney to her through uh, parks. Well, this, I'm, I'm just telling you what- The shadow part's already been heard in parks. Well, I'm just, just remaining off here, so I don't no, realize that. that. Like, so so I think the hearing has already taken place at the parks. So I'm saying the shadow's probably already been heard. This is the problem. <laughs> Another project receiving environmental review, um, 40 Cleveland Street, uh, which is founded by 7 Sherman and the South of Market, 
Betsy Carmichael School, Ukrainian Orthodox Church, are located across the street.